You're supposed to pay 500 euros for speeding, but can't afford a lawyer to defend yourself in court? AI is coming to the rescue. Very soon, algorithms could be an affordable choice to help you in court. AI as your lawyer. What sounds like fiction will soon become reality. This February, an AI lawyer will help a defendant fight a speeding ticket in a US court. How does this work? And what could it mean for you? The AI program will run on the defendant's smartphone and work like a human lawyer, according to Do Not Pay, the consumer advocate startup offering the service. The AI will listen to court arguments and formulate a response. The algorithm then tells the defendant what to say through Bluetooth headphones. The technology was built on OpenAI's GPT-3 language model and retrained on a more law-specific dataset. It can search through thousands of reference cases and court decisions faster than any 100 euro per hour lawyer could and provide you with information on your specific matter. But there's a slight problem. It's not clear yet if an AI is even allowed inside the courtroom. For now, this is a gray area. So Do Not Pay is keeping it a secret in which specific case their AI lawyer will be used. Even the judge won't know. But the courtroom isn't the only place AI could provide legal advice. Apart from going to court, there are AI tools that can help you with your legal trouble. There are numerous online chatbots answering questions regarding the law. They certainly won't get you through a case, but they might give you a good impression of what you're dealing with. AI can also review contracts, spotting issues and errors that may have been missed by humans. Companies are already providing such services. This could come in handy for human lawyers too. Around the world, law offices are starting to invest in machine learning. AI could help them compile documents or conduct legal research. For now, these tools are only used for minor cases like speeding tickets or refund claims, for example, from an airline if your flight was delayed. But could they do more? The key to getting a good result out of an AI is giving it the right input. So if you're using it for law, you need to have a basic understanding of what you're asking for. It still needs humans to correct and finalize the output, which is a big factor when it comes to accountability. If a lawyer gave you incorrect information, there could be malpractice consequences. But if a chatbot does it, it may be your problem. In order to trust the information from your legal counsel, there needs to be a personal relationship. This builds over time when working with a lawyer who has your best interest at heart. It's hard to imagine that algorithms could ever replace that. Finally, the question remains if an AI needs to pass a test to act as a lawyer, since this is the requirement for giving legal counsel almost everywhere in the world. Who knows if it's been trained on the correct databases. The testing phase in February marks the first of what are likely to be many more efforts to bring AI further into law making legal counsel available to more people at a low cost. Would you let an AI lawyer defend you in court? Let us know.